Should I quit? I think I'm just going to quit, I think. It's a nice office, though. What if I quit and I just moved up here and lived up here? That would be all right. They'd probably want the office back, though, wouldn't they? I know. I know what I'll do. I'm going to burn down the stadium and I'll use the insurance money to buy new players. Hey guys, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to episode 7 of the Seattle Mariners and what I think is the beginning of the end. This is a baseball club that is just dying a not so slow death anymore. Uh, look at the team chemistry. We're feuding. Um, it's been about a week in game and honestly there is so much to catch you up on. We may not have time for today's game and that may not be a bad thing to be honest because it's, it's not going well. Um... Where do I even start? I've lost my temper with this team. That's probably the first place to start. Um, you know where we'll start? We will start with D. Gordon. You will notice he's suspended for five games. Now, why is he suspended for five games, I hear you ask? Because we lost the game, and he said he doesn't care if we lose anymore. Um, so he's unhappy. The entire squad was unhappy, which is mostly why we're feuding. The team. Uh, this has never happened to me before in, in, whenever I've played this game. The team came to me and said, what are you going to do about it? We could either release him, which I was tempted to do, but he is one of our better uh, hitters, so I decided against that. Uh, we could either, or we could suspend him or we could do something else. I can't, I'll just let it go, I think. So I suspended him for five games, which was excellent because we don't have another second baseman of his standards. Um, but what that did do is sort of make the rest of the team happy with me, though you wouldn't know it seeing that. We also had no team leaders. We have now called Reggie McLean up from AAA for no other reason than to sit in the bullpen, do nothing, and be a team leader, basically. So, I can't find team leaders anywhere. So, Reggie McLean is now a Major League Baseballer for some reason. Um, what else do we want to say? There is some good news, and we'll get to that in just a second. It's nothing to do with, uh, with the Mariners, though. <laughs> um, all right. Trades. Let's have a look at trades. We have made trades. We have released players. Let's go to transaction log here. Hopefully, it'll come up relatively soon. Yeah, you can see I've absolutely just lost my temper with the team. Okay, the first trade we did, we got rid of Carlos Camacho. A bit of a no-hoper of a catcher, to be honest. He was, was he in our rookie ball team, I think. Maybe that's what that means. Anyway, he was an absolute no-hoper. Defensively decent, but that's about it. And in return... We got Mitchell White. He's a starting pitcher. Um, he's not... Or actually, he's, maybe he could play in the bullpen. He's in our triple A's right now and lightening it up with an ERA of 13, as you can see. Nothing is going right, guys. Um, but he's, at least he's a prospect. He's someone we could maybe use in the Major League team at some point. Um, so I think that's, that's basically an upgrade. The next trade, and there was a few... We sent Reneas Elias off to, uh, off to the, where are they go, to the Giants. Um, he was in our bullpen for a little bit. ERA of 14, a whip of just under three. Like, that is disgusting. And in return, we got in Mac Williamson, an outfielder. Uh, very good defensively, left and right field. Not too bad at hitting. Uh, decent on the bases. Let's hope. Let's hope he does well for us. Because with the injury to, uh, to Malik Smith, we, we were sort of an outfielder short. This guy does kind of fill in the gap. The one thing he doesn't do is play center field. We don't really have anybody who can play center field. But he's got a decent a decent range, a decent arm. He can learn center field. I mean, how hard can it be? And the final trade we have done is we've got Madison Mad, uh, Mad Bum Bumgardner out of, the, out of the club. He was annoying me. ERA was over six at this point. Um, I was going to put him into the bullpen. And then I found, available for trade, Will Smith. Not that one, but a good one nonetheless. And there is there is just no argument. This guy is a better bullpen pitcher than Mad Bum is. Um, so he, he's a free agent at the end of the year. I think he wants about $11 million to stay. I tell you what, if he, if he does well at the end of this season, I'll pay it. He's a really, really good closer. And one thing I think we have lacked is actually just seeing out games at times that we're in front in. Um, so I'm hoping... I'm hoping Will Smith will be that man for us. Now, this has obviously all meant changes to the lineup, to the pitching rotation. So as things stand, at the after the All-Star break, this is how our rotation looks. Marco Gonzalez is our number one starting pitcher. God help us. <laughs> He's done okay. ERA is under four, and that's really good for us. Uh, Justice Sheffield's going to come in. He's going to be the number two in the rotation. He's ERA so far. He's only started three games, but ERA is under three. Um... So let's hope he can continue that going for us. Number three in the rotation is Chris Flexen. He's really hot and cold. We've seen him pitch complete games. And we've also seen him taken out after a couple of innings, having basically already lost the game for us. So 
yeah, we need a little bit more consistency out of him. UC is down to number four in the rotation now. His ERA just keeps ballooning up and up and up. He's got a creep going on. He's very unhappy. Um, part of that is because I tried to train him, I think. But no, one, no one would touch him on $8 million a year. So that's UC down number four. And we've called up Justin Dunn into the Major League team. Fifth in the rotation. He wasn't doing particularly well in AAA, ERA of over five. But to be fair, no one is. So... Uh, a little bit of a desperation move here. He's one for the future. Let's just, I thought, just give him a chance. See how he goes. We have uh, Mitchell, was it Mitchell White? We have White anyway that we've, that we've brought into the club. So we can always drop him back down to AAA. Um, but yeah, we'll just see how he goes. Any other changes in the rotation, uh, in the bullpen? We've brought Zach Birdie back in. Um, he's, a, he's potentially very good. So we're going to give him a go and see how he does. Uh, players that we have on waivers right now, they're not going, no one's going to touch them. Um, but we'll just keep putting them on waivers till somebody does. I don't know if I can do it after the transfer uh, trade deadline. But Leke, he's on 11 million a year. He's, um, he's dead to me now. Done. Um, so he will never play for the Mariners again. If we have to release him, then we'll release him. But he's annoyed me for the final time. Hunter Strickland, ERA over 10, mate, go away. And the other one is Swarzak. He's, he's a free agent at the end of the year, um, basically. We've got better options in the bullpen. I'm not going to... He hasn't done too bad. The ERA is under four, but we don't want him at the end of the year. I want to give... I think basically this guy's out for birdie. He's going to stay next year. He's a lot better potentially. So I just... I just Get out of my club, mate. Get out of my club. Uh, and I think that is... Oh, we do have other news on the staff front. We've gone for our third pitching coach of the season that we don't want to see schedule. We'll get to that in a second. We don't want to see that. Um... Basically, the pitching coach, the the new guy, wasn't doing any any good. So we have another new guy, Ari Ronick. Now, I found him. He was already in our system. Uh, it says he's a fine pitching coach who likes to work with power pitchers. I still haven't figured out the, the coaches now. There is maybe some hope in this. Old Grizzly guy, I think his name is. Old Grizzly dude uh, in the comments. That's his name. That's not me making an <laughs> Not me describing him. Um, there is apparently a tutorial online. Uh, on the uh, on YouTube, on the uh, Out of the Park Baseball channel that will tell me how to understand coaches, how to make coaches better, how to make coaches make your players better. This could be a big breakthrough for us because as things stand right now, I'm just throwing mud and hoping something sticks. So uh, I think our hitting coach is doing a good job. I feel like we're hitting really well this season, uh, but pitching has been an absolute disaster. Um, on the good news, we have uh, Bruce has now hit 300 career home runs. Uh, this may be difficult for you to see. I know it's a, it's a lot of stats and it's uh, very small. But if we go to career, you've probably already seen. Here we go, total here. 300 home runs. He hit his 300th home run uh, a couple of games ago. So excellent stuff from him. Um, and the other stuff, if we go and have a look at the All-Star stuff. Now, would you believe we had three All-Stars? I can't believe it. So there we go. None of them were pitchers. Uh, but that doesn't surprise anybody. The All-Stars. Omar Navarez, our catcher, is an All-Star. And I think that's really, really well deserved. He's hitting 284 this year. He's been a real star for us at the plate. Um, so a first All-Star game for him. Really, I'm just really, really happy for him. I think he really does deserve it. Uh, Vogelbach uh, got an All-Star game as well. His first uh, first All-Star appearance. Again, he was hitting 280, doing a decent job for us. He's just been playing as DH. Um, but I think he's done well there. And the uh, last of the uh, of the All Star guys, you can see the names there. Uh, is Mitch Henninger got uh, his second All Star game? So is that two years in a row for him now? Two years in a row, uh, hitting two sixty five, decent in the field. Um, so yeah, happy that he got his uh, call up there as well. So that's the All Star teams. That's the uh, American League, uh, and I'll go down to the National League if you want to pause and have a look for yourself. Um, that was the National League uh, team. Now, how did the game go, I hear you ask? Well, let's go and have a look at the box score. We will see that it was the National League. We can't even be involved in an uh, all-star <laughs> all winning team. Um, but on the bright, uh, bright side for us, uh, Navarez came in two for two with an RBI. Well done to him. He was uh, responsible for the only run of uh, of the game. Uh, was it a, did he hit a home run? He did hit a home run. So there we go. Excellent stuff. Um, the other two guys... Uh, Vogelbach came in, went 0 for 1, and Henninger started, but went 0 for 2. So, yeah, not even too much on that front for us. We'll have a quick look at uh, the schedule, see how we've been going. Uh, not good. We've won one game since you were with us last. We got swept 
by uh, by the the, the the Cardinals, which was disappointing. Game two here, gave up three runs in the ninth and a fourth run in the eighth. So that was massively, massively disappointing. A three-run home run, you can see there, off of Hariano, who's been usually reliable for us. We even had him as a closer uh, at, at the time. But, yeah, he let that one slip away for us, unfortunately. Uh, we played the A's. We won game one, which was good. Game two, this was what did it for Mad Bum. Um, where is he here? 3.2 innings, seven runs, five of them earned. Just get out, mate. Get out. Uh, and then game three, it was just poor pitching again. We gave up 12 runs. Like, come on. This is what we did for the pitching coach. Um, Leke, this is what did for him. Nine runs. No, sorry, six runs in six innings. Um, so that, that guy and Hunter Strickland again, both giving up three runs in the innings. Um, I've just done... I'm out of patience with this team, basically. So I'm really hoping that the um, the coaching tutorial thing will help me out. We can start and improve players, improve the team. But enough of me rambling on. This is episode is going to go long enough as it is. Let's have a look at the team we're sending out. It's a new. It's the second half of the season. Let's start fresh. Nobody's stressed out. Everybody's relaxed. Let's go play the Angels. And this is the team. We have Shed Long coming in to play second base with D uh, Gordon suspension. So he leads off for us. Jose Iglesias is batting second, the shortstop. Mitch Henninger on fire. He bats our third and plays center field. Vogelback continues as a DH at uh, cleanup. Jay Bruce, the 300 home run man, is in right field. Uh, he bats five. It's uh, Ryan Healy batting six at first base. Omar Navarez, our all-star hero, he bats seven. He's the catcher. Mac Williamson, he's first game for the Mariners. He bats eight in left field. And Kyle Sager, who's been an absolute disgrace so far since he came back from injury. He, he's batting nine at third base. Uh, you can't see, but it's obviously Marco Gonzalez, our number one uh, in the rotation guy, gets the start. Uh, we have a few matchup wins here, which is promising. We're up against... This guy, uh, Showtime. Ah, oh, this is going to be a long afternoon, isn't it? He can play right field as well. Add him to shortlist. And welcome to LA. When a guy's nickname is Showtime, you know it's going to be a rough afternoon, don't you? All right. Let's go shed long. Let's get the second half of the season off to a cracking start here for us. We're back. I think we're about eight games off of 500 right now. The owner's happiness has gone from delighted to very happy. So we're still in a decent position, I guess. But um, things are they're trending the wrong way. Is that? It is a leadoff hit from Shed Long. All right. Maybe there is something to be positive about here. I wasn't sure whether to make him leadoff man. But he's he's done okay. He's good on the bases. He can steal. So I thought, let's just do it. Let's keep second base leading off. And he does get the steal. And with none out, we have a runner in scoring position. Now, we've seen this before. And... Yeah, things haven't gone well. But one thing we can't do right now is hit into a double play. So that's a positive. Mitch Hanniger steps into the plate now. Batting, what's he batting this year? 265. Ideally, it'd be a little bit higher. He's hit that really well. Is that going to leave us? Oh my gosh, I think we have a first innings lead. Yes, we do. Hanniger sends it out of the stadium. And it is 2-0 to the Mariners. There's some showtime for you. Look at that. Over the left field fence. 380 feet. And it's 2-0 to the Mariners. Vogelback steps in now. What can he do? Come on, mate. That is a ground out to shortstop. That'll be two away. And it should bring up, I think it's the Spruce Moose, isn't it? Bruce comes in to bat. Can he hit 301? It's a full count. It's two out. What can he do? He can. He's got a hit. Well done, Brucey boy. He goes uh, to first. And we can't into a double play, which is good. Because Ryan Healy is at the plate. Decent power on this guy. Another full count. Tell you what, the switch of light. You've really got to have a more gradual sunset. I'm not blaming him for striking out there. It's impossible to see the ball when that happens. All right, Marco Gonzalez. I beg of you, mate. Please have a good start. Whatever's about to happen, it's a first pitch swing. Oh, dear. No, that's fine. Bruce is going to get to that. Is it, no, Henning is in right. Who's in right field? It's Bruce, isn't it? Yeah, Bruce makes the catch. One away. Gonzalez to continue. Come on. That is a ground ball to Inglacius. Inglacius over to Healy, and that's two away. And are we going to have a first innings lead? I don't think this has ever happened. Mike Trout, let's not count our chickens too early here. That is a one-out single. There really should be somebody covering second base there, if, uh, ideally. <laughs> but that's okay. All right. One out. Runner at first. Upton to the plate. Is he going to tie it up with a swing in the bat? That's just the sort of season we're having, so it wouldn't surprise me. That is a little bit of a grubber. Over to first. Healy, two hands, mate. And there we go. We do indeed have a two-run lead at the end of the first innings. 
Maybe we are going to turn things around. Maybe things are going to be okay. It's Navarez to the plate. He's hit that well. That's going to be a leadoff single. Well done, Omar. And this is double play territory, isn't it? It's Mac Williamson. He's first at bat as a Mariner. What's he going to do? Let's hope it's just a slow start. And that's not how things are going to continue. It's Kyle Sager, the disgrace of Seattle. Hits into a double play. Unbelievable. He's on 19 million a year. I've tried to trade him as well, which doesn't help. <laughs> that's why he's annoyed at me as well. I've basically tried to trade everybody that has any sort of value. Just, just I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to do. I'm massively out of my depth here. Come on, Gonzalez. Another strikeout. All right. For those of you who don't know, baseball is not a strength of mine. I enjoy watching the playoffs when they come around every year, but that is pretty much, yeah, I tell you what. Three up, three down, all strikeouts. Have some of that, Gonzalez. Excellent, excellent stuff. All right, we go again. Shed long. It's a full count. Shed long. No, for a second that I thought he had driven it into the gap, but it's a bit of a pop-up, and that ends his at-bat. One away. Jose Iglesias, three and one. And it's a walk. Runner at first. Perfectly set up for a Mitch Henninger double play here. He did hit a home run last time, of course. Can he go back to back? Oh, he's hit it well. He's hit it really well. That's down the third base line. Can Iglesias get to third? He can. It's a double. Hanniger with a one-out double. And dare we dream of extending a lead here? What is going on? It's Vogelback. There's no double play to hit into. Vogelback. It's going to score one. We'll take that. It's 3-0. to zero. We've extended the lead. And it's Jay Bruce. Just see what you can do, mate. He has... Oh, I thought for a second then it was going to get into the gap. But it doesn't. It ends the innings. But we've extended the lead. It's 3-0. to zero, And Gonzalez goes again. And I want to say he's looking good. But I don't want to say it out loud because it'll jinx it. Albert Pujols pops up. And that's one away. Yeah, I'm really hoping... Because um, I really I don't understand the coaches in this, so I'm really hoping that um, that that tutorial thing is going to be a, a sort of a godsend. Um, I'll watch that over the weekend, and hopefully when we come back on Monday, I should say Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays is when we play baseball. If you are wondering, um, hopefully when we come back on Monday, I'll be sort of the coaching guru. I'll have like a little like coaching hat halo thing on, and yeah, we'll see how we go. That's a two out double, not ideal. Let's hope we can get ourselves out of this inning. So we just need one more out. That's all we need. It's David Fletcher to the plate. He is batting 308. I don't know how with that sort of attribute. Maybe he's really good against right-handed pitchers. Don't walk him, Gonzalez. Oh, and this is where we start to fall to pieces, isn't it? Two out, two on, trout to the plate. And does anybody else sense a home run coming up here? It is. It's. Uh, can we keep the runner at third? Bruce cannot... And it's going to be a two-out rally. It's three to one. Runners at the corners. Gonzalez, get yourself out of this, mate. No, this is the home run, isn't it? To go in front. No, he strikes him out. All right. Negative Nancy over here in the general manager's office. All right, Healy. Come on, mate. It's a full count. He has got to back up the middle. That's going to be a, a leadoff single for us. And again, double play territory. Omar Navarez, our all-star, all-star. Strikes out. Excellent. All right. Mac Williamson. What can he do? Don't strike out again, mate. Oh, what have I tra I've traded? I've traded someone who can't pitch for someone who can't bat. Perfect. All right, Sega. The Seattle disgrace. And he hits into what would have been a double play, but luckily for him, there's only one out. We can't take advantage of the leadoff single, and we go again at the plate, at the pitcher's mound, I should say. Gonzalez. He's been decent so far. It's a full count. It is a pop-up. That should be easy enough for the Spruce Moose Bruce. And he does indeed make the play. One away. Justin Bauer. I guess you'd say that. First pitch swinging. And that is going to get down, isn't it? It's a one-out single. Not the worst, but obviously not the best. Tying run to the plate. There we go. It's a strikeout. That's two away. And it's two holes again. Oh, he's hit that not well enough. And Williamson is there. Makes a relatively simple catch in the end. And that gets us out of the fourth innings. Top of the fifth. And we're 3-1 up. Oh, we are... No, I'm not going to say we're going to win a game here. Because... Oh, he's hit him. Disgusting. 
Umpire, get him out of the game. Now, is he okay? He's hurt there. He examines his foot. It's not serious. That's good because we don't have any more second basement. Can you call someone back from suspension? Because you don't have any other options. Runner at first. Inglacius hits into a double play. You moron. No, it's just one. All right. Mitch Henniger already with one home run today. He's hit that. He's hit it well, but it's going to be caught. Unlucky. Oh, is it? No, it got down. Not the best animation there, I'll be honest, but it's another double for Henniger, and he is... Oh, he's dropped the ball. It's just an error. He's just plain dropped it, so it wasn't a hit necessarily, but we'll take it. One out, runners at second and third. Vogel back to the plate. What can he do? Oh, he strikes out. Mate, you've got a swing. Nothing annoys me more than when players strike out watching. Come on, Bruce. Please. It's 3-0. Oh, it's a hitter's count. He walks. We'll take it. It loads the bases. And is it Navarro up next? No, it's Ryan Healy. Already with one hit today. If he can get another one, it would be a wonderful thing. And he strikes out. We leave the bases loaded. For it seems like the 27,000th time this season. Gonzalez goes back to work. It is as a leadoff single. Oh, come on, boys. Come on. Andre Tolenton Simmons. That is quite the first name. It's like, um, what's that Adam Sandler movie where he, he wins the lottery, I think, and the girl's from, like, Middleton Tonville Townsend or something. <laughs> That's the uh, first name. It seems like the first name version of that. David Fletcher comes back up to bat. Still the runner at first. Is no, oh, I thought maybe a double play, but uh, the Seattle disgrace at third base cannot reel that in. And suddenly we've got two on, one out, and Trout at the plate. Strikes him out. All right, well done, Gonzalez. It's Upton. He can hit them as well, can't he? He has 19 home runs already this season. Up against Gonzalez. Oh, that might tie us up. Get it in, Williamson. He's going home. It's going to... Oh, we're going to get him at third, but it's going to still going to tie it up. It's 3-3. Three, three. And just like that, the lead disappears. Omar Navarez to the plate. Come on, mate. He walks. Runner aboard. Can we get ourselves back in front? It's Mac Williamson. He struck out twice. Third time he hits into double play. You're going to fit right in, mate. That's not a double play. <laughs> You're going to fit in, Mac. You really are going to fit in here. It's a Seattle disgrace. What can Sega do? They walk him. I don't know why you've done that. Oh, double play, of course. I know why you've done that, because you're playing the Mariners. That We will always hit into a double play. It's Shedlong up against a new pitcher, Justin Anderson. Where's his ERA here? 208, so he's had a decent season. Go on, Shed boy. He has got it through, has he? No. But it's, it advances the runners, but it is two out. It comes down to Inglacius. 0 for 2 so far today. Can he drive some runs in here? He has not. Run, Jose. No. Ah, uh, and it's 3-3 three, three as we go to the bottom of the sixth. And it's Brandon Bannon that comes in. ERA of 372 this year. He's been very hot and cold like most of our pitching. Our bullpen, for the most part, is relatively solid. I wouldn't say great, but relatively solid. He started off with a four-pitch walk there, which isn't ideal. Can we get a double play? Come on, Brennan. That could be a double play, you know. He just might have done it. He just might have done it. We do turn it, and that cleans the bases. Two out, and that makes up for the walk. All right, come on, Brennan. Let's get this last out. Let's get ourselves into the batter's box. There we go. Strike out from a full count. All right. All right, Hanniger, two for three so far. Has he already done all his good work, though? He's got the piece of that, and that is going to be three for four. Hanniger is on fire. And that is a leadoff single. Now, Vogelbach just looked quite average at the plate today. He's 0-2 at the plate, and he strikes out again. He was in the All-Star game. What was he doing there? All right, come on, Bruce. Bruce strikes out as well. It leads it up to Ryan Healy. One for three. What can he do? It's two and two. I sense a strikeout coming. No, it is. Oh, he's got it through. Nice one. And runners at first and second. Who's to the plate now? It is Omar Navarez. Channel that all-star home run here, please, mate. Come on. 
He's hit it. He's hit it straight to second base, though, and that is not going to get the job done. We stretch, and you just get the feeling that the pitching is very much on top of our batting right now. Brennan continues to poo holes. And that should be caught out there by Mac Williamson. And Willie Mack does indeed make the catch. All right. Come on, Brennan. It's been a decent outing for him so far, hasn't it? That should be the second out. Uh, he's not looking too fatigued here either. So long may this continue. Come on. That should do it. That should do it. Over to Healy. Two hands, please, Ryan. There it is. And that is the end of the seventh. It's tied at three. Is this the best chance yet of seeing a win on YouTube? Because we haven't seen one yet. I'm 99% sure. Willie Mack comes to the plate. Don't strike out again, mate. Come on. Oh, you are taking the piss. That is unbelievable. Three strikeouts and what would have been a double play. The Seattle Disgrace steps in. What has he got for us? He has. I thought for a second that he might have had a hit. But no. $19 million worth of outs. Shed long with two out. Just close your eyes. Try and clear the fence for us, mate. He walks. All right. Runner aboard. It brings up Inglacius. He's not going to clear the fence, but, you know, maybe he can get a hit. We've gone for the steal. Shed long. It looked like he slipped and decided to keep going. And that ends the eighth. It's still tied at three. Brennan continues into a third innings. I'm not sure about this, but let's see how he goes. That is well fielded there by Shed Long, and that is the first out. It's Mike Trout. Maybe I would have considered a left-handed pitch here. I don't know if we have left-handers in the bullpen. That's the problem, isn't it? It's a full count. Then he walks him. One out, one on. It's a new pitcher. Parker Markle comes in. He's, again, done okay for us so far. It's a full count. We can't afford to lose him. We've lost him. One on, two outs. What we would give for a double play right now. Come on, Parker. That could be the double play. Can we get two? No, just the one. I wonder if he would have been better off going to third and, and getting the, the, you know, the lead runner there. Oh, this is a massive out. This is possibly the game. Bottom of the eighth. We need this out. He's popped it up and that should do it. Two hands, whoever makes the catch. It's Omar Navarez. And we do get out of that inning. Still tied at three as we go to the ninth. Inglacius back in. Up against Cody Allen. Now, Cody Allen's ERA this season is 436. We would love every single one of those earned runs, please. Come on, Jose. This guy is first in the major leagues with saves, so that's not a great sign. <laughs> Inglacius strikes out and then gets thrown out at first as the catcher makes a little bobble of it. Henninger, who's had a wonderful day at the plate. We just need one more from you, mate. One more. He has hit it. Has he got it through? Yes, he has. Mitch Henninger, what a star he has been today. One out, runner at first. The go-ahead run is on. Vogelbach, who's been a disgrace at the plate. 0 for 4. I think he struck out every time. It's 3 and 1. He's not going to strike out this time. Oh, Vogelbach, has he sent it? He has! At the top of the ninth, we extend, or we don't extend, we regain the lead. It's 5-3. to three. And finally, Vogelbach has done something worthwhile. Hit that one, 411 feet. And it is the Mariners in front. Will Smith, warm up, mate. The closer's getting ready to come on. Are we going to see a win on YouTube? Bruce steps in. Bruce's walk. They're rattled. They're rattled. And it's Ryan Healy. He's had a decent day. Two for four so far. What can he do with a runner at first? Oh, has he sent one as well? Ryan Healy? No, it's off the very, very top of the fence. But it should score the runner from first. Yes, it does. And it is now six to three. And are we going to win a game? It's the, oh, the second half of the season. It's Ross. Now, this is Zach Ross Cup. We traded him. He was at the, at the Mariners at the start of the season. He is someone I got rid of. That is not going to get through, but it does advance the runner to third with two outs. And can Willie Mack... Oh, don't you strike out again. Unbelievable. Four strikeouts. That's not how you introduce yourself to the Mariners fans, mate. But that's all right. It is six to three. Three runs in the top of the ninth. And it's a first look at Big Willie Smith. Come on. Oh, he's three and one. He just takes a little bit of time to warm up, perhaps. 
That is a ground ball that should be easily fielded, easily over to Healy, and that is one away. It's Pujols up against Smith. It's 3-1 and one again, Smith. A few more strikes, please, mate. He's walked him. All right, let's not put base runners on, please. We can forgive mistakes if there's no base runners right now. That's been well hit, and it is... Oh, it's going to bring the tying run to the plate. Oh, Seattle, where pitchers go to die. It's another full count. Strikes him out. That's two away. That's absolutely massive. It's David Fletcher. The tying run, let's not forget. Up against Will Smith. Are we about to win a game? Yes, we are! Finally, it took to the All-Star break, but the Mariners have won a game on YouTube. So there we go. I think I did forget to show you the standings at the start there, but... I mean, as I said, we're not going to make uh, the playoffs or anything like that, but we get it back to seven games off 500. It's a really, really good win that we look like a team that kind of knew what they were talking about. Uh, but that is it for today, though, guys. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Um, yeah, I mean, I have a, uh, that fills me with a little bit more hope, but I'm a little, it's just, yeah, I'm still really annoyed. What I think we'll do, we've got trade deadline coming up. Um, I'm expecting we might be making a few more trades before then, so we might come back for that. Uh, it'll be the second game of a series in Texas against the Rangers. Um, and yeah, let me know where you think we need to strengthen. I'm hoping, as I said, this coaching tutorial thing will help us out. And maybe we can win a few games between now and then as well. Until next time, guys, I've been Ozzy Bill, and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.